Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning into the channel. So in this week's video, I'm going to show you guys how I plan out my fly lady routines throughout the week. I'm really excited to make this video because one thing that really held me back from starting the fly lady program is that I just assumed that I had to be this extremely disciplined person in order to follow the system. I just assumed that it was going to be too hard for me to keep up with. Um, like I said, that it required a lot of discipline and a lot of focus. And this is just because I didn't know about the system and I didn't know how the system, like how it would interweave into my life. And so um, I hope that this video will show you guys how simple the program is and how little time I devote to cleaning each week. Hey guys, so due to some difficulties with uploading, I had to break this video down into three parts. So you are watching part one of three. If you want to see the rest of the videos, make sure that you click in the description box down below. Um, I just get so much done now that I have a system and a plan that is appropriate for my life. So I'm going to show you guys how I plan out my week and like I said, hopefully for anybody who's thinking about the program and you think it's one way, hopefully I can show you what it actually looks like for me. And for anybody who's struggling, maybe, you know, something that you may need to consider doing is scaling it back a little bit or um, making some modifications or adjustments. So I'm going to show you how I've personally made modifications and adjustments to the program. Um, and so I really hope this video will be helpful to you guys. So yeah, before we begin, for those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Lede and I am the creator of Love Always Lede. And on this channel, I like to talk about my peaceful homekeeping journey. Um, I have been doing the fly lady system for about 10 months, 10 or 11 months as of today. And um, the way that I do my fly lady system is it's a very modified system for me. I've had to make so many modifications because I have four kids um, and two of those kids are toddlers, like they're toddlers. And I've noticed that as my toddlers have grown and as they've gone through their various stages, I've had to just kind of like be able to go with the flow. And the, the system is very flexible, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so this is not going to be like the proper fly lady system. So if that is what you're looking for, this is not going to be a good video for you, but um, if you kind of want to see how you can break the program down into pieces and reconfigure it into your life, then that this is what I'm going to show you, like if the actual proper system is not working for you. And so my goal is in the future to do the actual proper system, but kind of like I said, with the way my life is set up, I have to be flexible and the system still works for me and I am still getting excellent results. So if you're watching this and you find that even my system doesn't work for you, just know that you may need to do more than what I do. Maybe you'll do less than what I do. Maybe you'll have different times where you need to accomplish your task. Just keep your mind open and fluid to how you can make this fit for your life. So I will begin. So just a couple of weeks ago, um, I posted a video called the new power hour or it was actually mistakes with your power hour cleaning. And on the second half of that video, I talked about pretty much the objectives that I strive to meet each week. And I shared this chart with you guys. So if you have not seen that video, make sure that you go back. I will try to leave a card here so that you can see the structure of my week. And so instead of going into this again, what I'm going to do is show you guys my Pretty much this is like my schedule for the week, if you will. And I will show you guys how each of the components of the Fly Lady system fits into my weekly schedule. So I'm going to turn the camera around right now. All right, so I know that this kind of looks like it is a block schedule. That is not the case. Um, I just, like I said, I wanted to show you guys a visual representation of how I plan out my fly lady stuff. And so this is a very general idea of what my week looks like. So, um, so everything on here is very fluid. It's very flexible, um, with my four kids. Like I just, I just not able to do a super rigid thing right now. However, I have learned the value of having like flexible, routines and so um 
yeah, flexible structure. That's the word I'm looking for. So this is generally what my week looks like. And currently I'm in the process of trying to design like a really good weekly planning system that helps me keep track of my routines. And so this is just an experiment. This is not what I use from week to week. I created this for this video, but actually after using it, I really like it. And I might just continue to modify it each week and tweak it to make it perfect, quote unquote perfect. Um, you can see some mistakes here. If you see mistakes, just ignore it and just, just go with the spirit of the program, you guys, okay? So let me just break through break down what a day would look like so you can kind of know what the boxes represent and then I'll get into the fly lady stuff. So today is Monday the 6th. Usually I wake up at 4 o'clock and I work in the morning and then I'm done working at 6 30. This is something new you guys. I'm trying to do like a yoga everyday challenge even if it's just for five minutes. So I have this little block of time in the morning where I don't have kids. So this is where I'm able to work on some YouTube stuff. And so that's what I use this time for or anything like maybe I need to read a resource or I, sometimes I take online courses. And so I have stuff that I do in the morning for myself. So I don't have the babies at this time. Eight o'clock. This is when I do my morning routine. Usually it takes about 15 minutes to do that. Um, usually I also do some type of weekly cleaning. So I'll explain that in just a moment. And so I have my schedule out for the week. This is when the babies take a nap. So I put it in red just to indicate that I don't have the babies at this time. So I'm a little more flexible. This is where I do my afternoon routine or a midday reset, which I'll explain in a moment. The kids usually have a snack around three o'clock ish. Um, usually between five and six, I do bath time for the babies. Once again, you guys, this stuff is very flexible. I just wanted you to see between six to seven, we have dinner and then Usually, if my evening routines are not done during dinner time, I will work on them from 7 to 7.15. My boys go to bed. Oh, wait, the babies go to bed at 7. That's why I do my evening routine there because I don't have them at that time. And then from 8 to 10 o'clock, I usually try, I try to go to bed at 9, you guys, but sometimes I do stay up a little later because I wake up so early. I try to go to bed at 9, but I think I'm actually going to change this and make it nine o'clock across the board because I don't need to be staying up that late. So that's kind of what a typical day would look like for me. So for me, Fly Lady consists of about four different categories of activities that need to get done. We have your routines. These are the things that you're going to be doing day in and day out. Um, these are maintenance tasks. And these are the things that if I can't do anything in a day, I'm gonna make sure that I get these routines done because these have the very true potential to make your life harder if you skip them because they build up on you. So these are like the most important part of my fly lady routine for me. And it's like, if I can't do anything else, like this is my baby, this is what I'm gonna prioritize. And so when I first started, I started with the shiny sink rule and I just did that for a couple of days. For those who are new to the program, the shiny sink rule is basically you can leave your dishes anywhere in the kitchen, just don't leave them in the sink. And the idea is to just help you, encourage you to do them more often and um, just to be able to admire an empty sink. So I personally choose to keep my dishes on the counter and then um, I will do something with them every morning, every noon, and every night. So anyway... Also, your hot spots for those of you that are new, hot spots are the areas in your home where people just drop their stuff instead of putting it away. They're like, I'll just leave it here for a moment. And what you'll notice over time is that most of the clutter in your home usually starts at that hot spot. And if you're not on top of it every morning, noon, and night, it has the potential to kind of explode and grow from there. So if you just stay on top of your hot spots, and you handle them every morning and every night, then that's a great way to control like 80 to 90% of the clutter in your home. For me, like the rest of my home is not really a huge target for clutter. Not to say that it doesn't attract clutter, but not as quickly and as heavily as my hot spots. So when you're starting, I would just maybe have one or two hot spots that you're responsible for. And then as you do your zone cleaning, which we'll talk about in just a moment, you can slowly expand your hot spots throughout the home. 
and then every morning I throw in one small load of laundry. I usually keep my family's laundry pre-sorted. So my girls have a basket, my boys have a basket, I have a basket for towels. And every morning I just pick a random basket and I throw it in and it takes me just a few moments. So all of these routines usually take me about 15 minutes or less. Okay, so this is not to say that this is all I do when I do my morning routines. This is just the heartbeat. This is just the most important stuff. And then if I can get to something else, then I will. Like I will just kind of go where the spirit moves me. One thing I noticed is that after I started doing my routines, stuff like sweeping underneath the dining room table, like I started wanting to do that stuff. Maybe I'll wipe down my counters because like if the the dishes are done sometimes you just feel compelled to do a couple of other things just go with it but don't feel like obligated and don't feel like you're don't stress yourself out in the process do what feels good and everything else can just wait that's where I'm at right now and so and it's like if you don't get to those things they're not going to build up on you and they're not going to get worse I mean they're not pretty to look at but things won't be building up on you but if you skip these then things have the very true potential to build up so Routines. I spend 15 minutes right after I come out of my office working on my morning routines first thing in the morning just to get it done. And literally, you guys, I'm in the morning. In addition to doing those three things, I make my bed. I literally walk around counting one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Because I know I have three things I have to do before I sit down, before I get settled and relax for the morning. Okay, so that's at 8 o'clock. Usually around noon, this is where we have lunch, and I do the same thing. Either before my kids eat or after they eat, I count one, two, three. I make sure that I get my three things in. And then also around the evening time, the same thing. I count one, two, three. I hit those hot spots. I make sure my sink is shiny. And then here, I make sure I fold my laundry. Midday, I make sure I rotate. And here, I make sure I fold my laundry. And so, like I said, I'm literally counting throughout the day. It's like a song. I dance one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, because I know that those are the priorities. And then anything else, that's just extra. That's just icing on the cake. And most of the time I will, like I have my kids, for example, pick up their toys in the living room. But I know that if they skip that for a day, like I didn't just two times my work for the morning. You know what I'm saying? I hope that makes sense. So those are just the priorities and that's how I get them in. For anyone starting the program, I do recommend that for every meal that your family is home, that you hit those routines. Um, like if your family's only at home for breakfast in the morning and dinner, maybe you can get away with doing twice a day. I was able to get away with twice a day for a really long time until my kids came home for the corona uh, virus quarantine. And now that everybody is here three days uh, all throughout the day, three meals a day, I'm just finding that it's the easiest to just do um, have a cycle in the morning for breakfast, have a cycle at lunch, and then have a cycle at dinner. And that just really helps keep things under control. And as I mentioned, I will set my timer and try to make sure that this takes about 15 minutes. And then anything else that I think is interesting or that I want to touch up on, I will do it after these core things are done. So, um, so that hope that makes sense. If you guys have any questions about the fly lady routines, let me know. Um, one thing that you'll notice that's different between what I do and what the proper fly lady system recommends is that my stuff is very simple and minimal. On her program, she has it where you do a lot of, like you map out the series of specific steps that you want to take. And in the future, I plan to expand my list. But just for now, I like to keep mine very minimal because like if I see long list, like I start getting overwhelmed. But I know that these are the difference makers. These are the most important part of those lists. But for Fly Lady, I think she has a couple of other things that she recommends as well that I've made tweaks for, for myself personally. But um, so that's one difference between what I do and what she does. I just, I like minimal lists for now. And then over time, I can um, go in and uh, be more strategic with that. But this is working for me. All right, so next we have the weekly tasks. On Fly Lady, they do theirs in a weekly home blessing style format. So basically, we do each of these tasks, and you have to set your timer and make sure that you do them in 10 minutes or less. On Fly Lady, they do all of their weekly home blessing tasks on Monday. So all of these tasks should take you about an hour if you do them back to back to back to back. And so this is a modification that I've made for myself because 
my girls, um, I'm just having a hard time cleaning for a whole hour, basically. Uh, right now, they are two years old. They're almost two. They'll be two this month, and they don't play that game. That was part one of three, so if you want to see the rest of the videos, make sure you click the link down below.